Hi guys, welcome back. We have got a new Oxygen up update for OnePlus 3 and 3T. It is open beta 27 for OnePlus 3 and open beta 18 for OnePlus 3T. So in case you have already installed that, you can see the notification inside the system update. And let me show you guys the about phone number. So right now I haven't updated. I have to show you something. But notice here that a security patch will still of September. So hopefully we should be getting something latest. So let me tell you guys one important point. Like I mentioned and shown earlier, this is Android Oreo open beta update. In case you want to go to the official and any of the previous open beta update for Nougat, we have to come completely format and erase everything so note this thing carefully try to stall it at your own risk or check the description for more details how to revert back completely so uh, inside the system update these are the chain log so more or less everything is just fixes an improvement except an enhancement on the do not disturb mode which is kind of very very minor still uh, we will see what is that so I'm just quickly going to update it so here's the one three two one now once you install the update you can see you will see this one plus service segment so you might have heard some few days back like about the uploading details of the server this could be something related to that anyway in case you want to do join the experience program you can take and click next so i'm uh, quickly going to the about form section let me verify and show you guys the build number so now i have updated so my build number is been updated and you can just notice the security patch well is for the october anyway this is november so guys this is about the about form section moving to the chain log the first and minor chain log it is on the do not disturb a mode just a uh, minor tweaks on the event reminder other than that everything exactly same the next is we have the battery definitely this is unstable open beta so you could company has to do a lot of work in terms of improving battery my battery life uh, always been near to be three to four hours uh, maybe in this update it should be fixing next we have guys is a smart text selection improvement so in case you don't know this is actually android audio feature for example in case you're doing some texting typing i'm just going to show you guys inside this messing if you have written some kind of say phone number if you just double tap to select it it will show you a phone pop-up instead of select all and if you just uh, select few words and you can see the phone is gone if you just select complete seven letter that means it is phone number std code it is phone number now uh try on the twitter so there it is at the rate it is not working might be in the future it should work so here is again a quick example if i just write some address so suppose you have sent this edit to someone you don't need to actually uh, you know open this copy complete thing open the maps application and paste there you just need to select the complete thing for example this is nothing gurgaon is actually location code that's why it shows something and in, in case you just select completely ambience mall gurgaon it will show you maps directly you can just click here and it will navigate to that position which is very smart move that's why it's called as a smart text and next thing everything we have is on the update of the google mobile services general performance improvement update to security patch will other bug fixes optimization everything is here so we will see all these things okay this is about a quick change look nothing too much to show you guys here but instead i want to show you some performance check as a quick funny test let me show you what is that so this is one plus three uh, speed test between the open beta 27 versus 28 so I've, I've just uh, taken this before installing the update and after showing the update so more or less there is nothing too much difference but it is kind of funny in wonder i'm still saying my old open beta 27 is working faster compared to the 28 uh, because i tried for so many application games but here is a fact uh, you know results may vary in, in your case because you know application that you're launching might be optimized by itself so like company said general system performance improvement so that could be something related to the android core level for not for the uh, this one you can say uh, games and launching thing maybe in the future it will done so as you can see till now open 27 is working faster in case of pokemon go it is a network dependent feature gps and all the stuff so it just varies i'm just going to make it fast for a way anyway in case you're playing pokemon go a lot so you guys can notice that thing it may take a bit of time for you so we have already got that on open 28 in that case but uh, for open 27 it's still on the very old position now we have got this thing done so quickly completing it so we've got the pokemon go up and running moving to the next game it is dead trigger 2 so here is the one so it looks like again open 27 is working faster so anyway <laughs> this is kind of surprising for me that's why i told you earlier so we still got 27 on the first and for the x voltage in that case uh, looks like again open 27 is going to be faster here yeah about uh, two to three seconds faster so guys this is for one plus three now this is for the one plus three t open beta 17 versus 18 so in that case you know 3t is working slightly more faster compared to three so it took me a lot of time to you know i have to just keep on looking at the screen to take for the millisecond difference it's a hard job guys anyway have to do it so uh, both games are launching pretty fast here in both the builds so just a millisecond different i will say nothing more than that and next we have the subway surfer so here you can see uh, i believe uh, open beta 17 is going faster so previous build is still working quite faster compared to the new build kind of surprising 
so uh, that is guys is expected you know you can say that thing because this is open beta anything can happens not guaranteed so let's let's see for the pokemon go what is the condition here so making a fast forward this time open beta 17 wins here so as i told you earlier guys this is based on the network of the gps about a dead trigger to still open beta 17 seems to be working faster here yes we got here first on the 17 later on the 18 but that doesn't mean you should not update your phone you should go ahead and update that because it brings a lot of fixes and improvement this is not official that you should make a choice between nougat and lollipop it is working faster so we should be doing faster on open beta 17 so guys this is the quick speed test and the kind of performance check let me show you guys the benchmarking results too starting with the n2 so these are the let me open old score 144k versus 148k going to update it quickly soon so we are about to complete one plus three should be coming faster yeah we are about to get it here 156k uh, seems improved but uh, yeah a slight improvement on both the phones but not as expected on the 3t no problem with that so this is about the n2 now moving ahead and trying for the geek benchmark let's see what the number says here so this is the one and here is the one so by the time it is going to run three to one here is the old score for uh, 4.3k versus 3.8k so we're about to the complete so looks like uh, kind of improvement on both the phones nothing too much so guys there you have it this is open beta update for one plus three and three t stay tuned to the channel i'm going to get my one plus five t very soon i will show you all the possible is speed test whether you should upgrade your three or three t so this is sort of again thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you very soon have a great day